Thank you. Uh, that was a trailer from the documentary film about Sonita Alizade's life. Sonita was just 10 years old when her family first tried to sell her into marriage. She narrowly escaped that life, but she represents hundreds and thousands of Afghan girls who have not been as lucky and who were forced into child marriages. After the video of her rap song, Brides for Sale, went viral on YouTube, Sunita was offered a full scholarship to study at Wasatch Academy in Utah. She's continued to create new songs about women's rights. Welcome, Sunita. Thank, Thank you. you for joining Thank us. You. Thank you. Sunita, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you became a rapper. It has a long story. I want to make it short. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, I'm from Afghanistan. And I am 19 years old. Um, when my family tried to sell me, uh, actually it happened two times, and they tried to sell me to pay for my brother's wife. Um, when I was young, we moved to Iran to escape the Taliban. And for a long time, I was a refugee in Iran because I didn't have any paper or ID. I couldn't go to a school. But I went to an NGO to take classes, and the life was very hard for me. And I was looking for a way to share my feelings with others. And then I started to rap, to share my feelings, to talk about the painful experience of being a girl. And my friends, um, they get married at 15 years old, I saw them with bruises on their faces. And they were 15 years old and 16 years old, but they acted like old women. And I started to rap to talk about that. How did you feel when your family said they wanted to sell you into marriage? Um, it is clear. It's a painful moment, and I couldn't understand it. I have to forget my dreams. In one moment, I felt all my dreams disappeared, and I was looking for a way to escape it. Yeah. Your mother was also sold into marriage. How old was she? She was 12 years old or 13 years old. So did she expect you to also be sold into marriage? Do you know, uh, that doesn't mean she didn't love me. She loves me, she cares about me, but she didn't have another way because she only was doing what she learned, what she saw her parents did to her. So now, she couldn't understand there are other possibilities for me. Is it a tradition in Afghanistan? Do a lot of girls still today get sold into marriage? It's not just Afghanistan. It's happening all over the world because 
They don't have any supporter. You can't see them here. And now I'm here in front of you to talk about all those girls who cannot share their feelings, their uh, stories. And for some countries, it's um, common and it's tradition. And also people, because they're very poor, they have to do it to be survived. Let's get another clip from your film, uh, Sonita. Here, let's take a look. به این زنه که خاستگار مدت برای سنیتا پیغام دادم گفتم 20 میلیون خوب گفته نه چرا زایر به 35 میلیون زده پیغام دخترم سایر به 30 میلیون زده پیغام سنیتا چی کم داره تو 20 میلیون باشه با دختره به سنتا سال سنیتا که اصلا هیچ چیزی هم چیزی ندارم مثل سنیتا هم نیم میرم 15 میلیون 20 میلیون بیشتر از هم نمیدم نه سنیتا با دختره دیگه پرق میکنم نمیدم 20 میلیون سی میلیون به کل که کم میگیرم دکتر آل سی میلیون سی و پنج میلیون سونیتا یو لسند تو یو مادر وات دید یو فیل این نت مومنت سام پیور آلویز اس می آر یو انگری ات یور مام نو ای لوف مای مادر ایم نوت مد ات هر دت مومنت ای واز تینکینگ اباوت سوسایتی اباوت traditions so uh, I was sad because uh, my mother she couldn't understand me what is inside me and also I could understand because her family couldn't listen to her didn't listen to her and she learned how to uh, how to be how to do it how to, to cope how to survive yeah, so yeah. When you made your music video, your rap video, mm -hmm. Brides for Sale, I think it's been seen by nearly half a million people around the world on YouTube. You painted on your face bruises. Why? Um, I had so many friends in Iran, and one day I was sitting with them and I was talking about my music video. One of them, she didn't talk, and I was looking at her. She had bruises on her face, and I realized this is the real face of child marriage. And I used it. It's an image of my friend. Who, who, had, who had hit her? Uh, her family, because she wanted to go to a school, and she didn't want to marry at that age. Has your own family's view of you and of child marriage changed because of your music? My family? Does your family feel differently now? Now, <laughs> yes, <laughs> because in Afghanistan, they hear my song from TVs, from radios, now they realize, as a girl, I have power, <laughs> and I can change my future. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. So your family listened to your music, and they understood your feelings, and they changed. How can we change? How can we end child marriage for other girls? Mm -hmm. Uh, I think we need to begin, begin with families, because family, in many places, they live with old thoughts and ideas. And this is the problem uh, of Ruth. Uh, parents think, I must marry my young daughter because it is tradition. Families need to know new ways, new possibilities, and see there are other possibilities for their daughters. And we need to work in uh, communities and even with religion leaders to get help to change this tradition. Uh, we also need to support girls uh, to see there are other possibilities for themselves and, and so that they can uh, have a vision for their own future. And 
We need governments and organizations to support this kind of programs to end child marriage, especially programs that are created by local people because they have the best understanding how to solve the, this problem. And finally, we need laws to make child marriage illegal all over the world. And thank you. And I should say that Sonita's own ambition is to go to law school to change <laughs> those laws so that we can change child marriage. Yeah. Sonita, in the film, you sing your song to another girl and she starts to cry. She says that she wished she could tell her own father your message. Mm -hmm. What happened to that girl, your friend? When I was in Iran, I was always trying to give her advice, and they never, she never listened to me because there was no reason. And when I escaped child marriage, she realized it can be done, and she tried, and now she's in a school. And she, yeah, and she can go to a school and think about her future. So she escaped her marriage. <laughs> yes. So you have come a very long way from Iran to Utah. <laughs> After the song went viral, Brides for Sale, uh, you were offered a scholarship to Wasatch College in Utah. It was the first time you had ever been to school. Yes, it is my first time I'm in a real school and I'm allowed to learn, I'm allowed to think what I want to study. At the beginning, it was very hard and <laughs> because I couldn't speak English and now I'm trying to learn more English and when I came to the US last year, I start because I knew just two words, hi, bye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In one year, you have learned a lot. Thank you. What's your favorite subject? <laughs> <laughs> um, my favorite subject is geometry, geometry because I don't have to talk that much. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you want to do, Sonita? Do you want to go back to Afghanistan and work for girls in Afghanistan one day? Yes, now I'm here to learn more and I want to go back to my country and to help other girls. And I want to uh, help them what I learned and I want to have a concert in Afghanistan and to work with other organizations in Afghanistan and also to visit my family because I miss them. <laughs> One day, would you like to sing your rap music in Afghanistan? Uh, my rap music? Yeah, could you sing in Afghanistan? Yes, of course. Uh, so I want to go back to Afghanistan to have a concert for people because I have fan, fans from Afghanistan and they're waiting to come to my concert. <laughs> I think it's going to be packed, your first concert in Afghanistan. Before that, you will finish your studies in America. Where would you like to study, to go to college? Oh, OK, it's a hard word. <laughs> <laughs> And how are your grades in school? A. <laughs> <laughs> Sonita is getting straight A's in a language that she's only been studying for a year in a country she has never lived in after one year of going to a proper school. <laughs> Thank you. I think that counts as an inspiration, and if anyone is going to ch end the practice of forced child marriage is, and girls getting sold into marriage, it is Sonita Alizadeh. Sonita, thank you very much thank for joining so us. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. That was great.